Hello everybody, my name is Joanne Manister and I'm your instructor for IB 533, the Human Genome and Bioinformatics, one of the courses in the series of the Masters of Science Teaching Biology program through the School of Integrative Biology with the University of Illinois. Uh, welcome back to those of you who've had me as an instructor before and a uh, definite big welcome to the new students who are in our program for the first time. Uh, now you have jumped in on a, quite an intensive course the first time around. If you are not up to date on your DNA and your genetics, uh, you'll have a little bit of catching up to do and that's what the first week will do. Um, I have asked you all to go ahead and obtain this book called Genome. It's not officially a textbook, it's a popular science book that was a national bestseller that helped the, the general public understand genetics and the burgeoning science of genomics. So this book was written just as the G human genome was being sequenced to sort of try and help us understand it. It is definitely out of date given the new genomic information we know. So we're going to do something uh, and try to update the book uh, as your final project. And the way you're going to do this is you are going to choose a disease or disorder that has a genetic or genomic basis. So its basis is in DNA. It's not going to be necessarily an infectious disease, for instance. Um, and you're, you're all going to choose a different one. And using the book as a guide and the questions I have uh, come up with that match each chapter, you're going to use those questions and the information you learn in this class to help you learn more in depth about that disease or disorder. So essentially you're going to become an expert on that disease or disorder by the end of the class and be able to use genomics to explain it. Your final project for the class then will be trying to explain how genomics has helped us understand this disease to the general public, meaning the students in your classroom or your aunt or your mother, people who do not speak in science terms. So all throughout the course you will be sharing information with me on that scientific level, but your final project will be towards the general public. Um, so how does this class work in this online environment? I will usually open up the module every Sunday, if I can, uh, for sure by Monday, and you will go on in and you will read uh, the readings I have assigned. Some are primary literature, some are secondary literature. You will also have some videos. There will be some lectures from me, uh, which will be either video or it will just be audio, or it can also have uh, just words to read. You'll see, you'll get the hang of it as we go through. As you go through that, you might have some questions, and I do ask that you submit your least clear concept from the whole thing to me so I can help you find the answer before our optional synchronous session. Now the optional synchronous session is where we all sort of log in at the same time and um, discuss the week's material. So. I always ask, what is your favorite thing about, what is your favorite thing you've learned or your favorite uh, re resource that I've given you? Uh, and then also we do tackle the questions that were at least clear and sometimes I will bring in experts to um, help us understand this material. Uh, then after that, you will be asked some book guided questions. So they've come from the book, they're going to help you understand your disorder. Uh, and then there will be a few discussion questions here and there that ask you to reflect about how would you use this material uh, in your classroom, if, if that's even applicable, which it should be, as you all are teachers, most of you are active teaching. Um, then you will also have a self-assessment, and the self-assessment is due, I believe, Saturday evening. And this is a short uh, quiz that's online, worth only 10 points, this quiz will um, just keep you honest. It just asks you to take a look at the material and uh, double check that you've understood it. The course is going to start off quite intensely. Uh, do not worry. Um, I remember when I've taught this before, people had a lot of questions initially, but I promise as the course goes along, your questions will be answered. I'm happy to help you as I can. You have my email address. You have many ways of contacting me. Um, including the, my work phone and uh, so uh, feel free to use that to ask questions but I found most people communicate best through email uh, it works schedule wise so uh, welcome 
and I'm looking forward to sharing this new exciting field with you, how it's come about and how it has changed how we understand ourselves and our world. All right, I'll be seeing you very soon.